It's the plea of a little boy begging for somebody to save him. Are you bleeding, Anthony? Uh -huh. Where are you bleeding from? From your stomach. From your stomach? Uh -huh. And this is yeah, that little amazing. boy today. I've survived the unthinkable. His name is Anthony Sukto. He was eight years old when he made the most heartbreaking 911 call imaginable. Ten years later, the scars on his stomach may have faded, but the memories of that terrible day are burned in his mind. In total, I think I stabbed like eight times. The crime is almost impossible to believe. Anthony's father, in a psychotic rage fueled by drugs, first butchered his wife and then turned on his son. The last thing I remember was just him like reaching back, swinging back, ready to attack me. And then next thing I know, I'm covered in blood. With a little boy's innocence, he begged for help. This is 911. What's going on there? Please help me. My daddy told me what's in us. I'm gone. Can you please send the army man with an ambulance? I woke up badly. Um, my dad, he was killing my mom. And then my, my, my dad told me to go on the other bed. And then he's like, you're next. And then he killed me. Two years after the nightmare, a 10-year-old Anthony appeared on Oprah with his aunt, who was raising him. What made you make the 911 call? The angels lifted me up to the phone. Anthony is now a student at the University of Denver, and we were with him as he celebrated his 19th birthday. There was a big surprise waiting for him. Dude, what? How you doing? A visit from Police Sergeant Mark Eeks. He was one of the Lakewood, Washington police officers who responded to that little boy's call for help a decade ago. Thank you. Welcome. Please help me. My daddy told me what's in us, I'm gone. A haunting recording from the most terrible day in this young man's life.